A deep sea diver's umbilical is severed 300 feet below in the North Sea, cutting off his breathing gas and communications. Stranded in total darkness in just minutes to survive, his crew assumed he was gone forever. This terrifying true story has been adapted into the film Last Breath, starring Woody Harrelson, Simu Lee, and Finn Cole. As a commercial diver for the last 13 years, I want to break this incredible story down from a diver's perspective. Now before we dive into this incredible survival story, we need to peel back the layers of saturation diving with a quick physics lesson. I promise to keep this simple, but it will make the rest of the story much easier to understand. Saturation, or sat divers for short, are an elite group. In the commercial diving world, they're the rock stars who make all the money and get all the glory, but their jobs come with increased risk and isolation from the outside world. Their deep sea work, traditional scuba or commercial diving is just simply not an option. When we breathe at the surface, our lungs absorb air, which is 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. At depth, however, the increased pressure makes the nitrogen molecules smaller, causing the nitrogen to dissolve into our body's tissues. Now, the longer that divers stay down, the more nitrogen our bodies absorb. And if we ascend too quickly, that nitrogen will expand too fast. This will form bubbles inside our tissues and bloodstream, just like opening a shaken can of Coke.